Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday. I was up at 6 a.m. Went and got my laundry done, two loads. Then I went to McDonald's and had a McDonald's thing and a cup of coffee. Stay in the Word, Bernie. Stay in the Word. That's what the Holy Spirit gave me thought in my mind. Uh, do you ever hear the Spirit? Because it's a thought that's so loud it sounds like someone's talking to you and it's hitting the inside of your eardrums from the inside out. So the Holy Spirit can speak to you today. The Holy Spirit is alive and living. The one Spirit, Word, Holy Truth. The Spirit, Word is truth. That's what truth is. So you can tell uh, uh, the Roman governor, Pontius Pilate, when he says, what is truth? Tell him the spirit, the spirit word is truth. God's word is truth. Second Timothy, I'm going to read for you people who have ever written a book and you consider yourself a writer. The greatest writer that lived on earth was Saul Paul of Tarsus. He was uh, trained, taught, by the Lord Jesus Christ in the Arabian desert after the cross. He was elect, called, chosen, and placed after the cross as the number one writer of New Testament scripture, two-thirds of New Testament scripture. And uh, <clears throat> so I'm going to read his last letter, or his last book, his last writing. Second Timothy, second chapter, 14th verse. Of these things, put them in remembrance. In other words, give them two-a-days. You ever play football and you have a practice in the morning and one in the afternoon? Same place. It was about synchronization, timing, and execution. Two-a-days, all right? So remind them. Give them two-a-days. Remind them. Charge them before the Lord that they... Strive not about words to no profit. It isn't that you can not strive about words at all, but don't strive about words that aren't profitable. Okay? Silly doctrines, rituals and traditions of men. Anything done with hands. Don't strive about anything done with hands. I've got these little fruit flies. I put a bag full of lemons in the lower cupboard and forgot them, and they went bad. I opened the cupboard door up, and 150 plus little fruit flies flew out of the cupboard. So I've been killing fruit flies for the last six hours. Okay. Uh, strive not about words to no profit, but to the subverting subverting of the hearers. It would subvert subvert the hearers. Study. You study. Make time, take time to go beyond prayer and reading to studying. There's a difference between reading and studying. Okay? Study to show thyself approved unto God, not unto men, not unto anybody else. Just you and God get a thing going on. Personal. Personal study. Okay? Study to show thy self approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, King James 1611, rightly dividing, revised standard or amplified, accurately handling. That's what the Greek word is saying. King James said rightly dividing, okay, or accurately handling the word of truth, the spirit word of truth, the Holy Spirit word of truth, and don't forget the truth, the anointed power, truth of the Holy Spirit. Verse 16, but shun profane, profane and vain. Whenever you see the word V-A-I-N, put these two words with it. Falsehood, lie. Vain, falsehood, lie. Lie, falsehood, vain. Always put falsehood, lie with the word vain. Okay, I read on. Vain babbling. 
for they will increase unto more ungodliness. 17, verse 17, 217, if you're trying to find me. 2 Timothy 217. And and their words will eat as doeth a canker, of whom is Hymenius and Philetus, who concerning the truth have erred, saying that the resurrection is past already. Part two of salvation. Part one, you believe in your heart, mind, your spirit, soul, and your conscience, and you confess that Jesus is Lord and Savior, and you believe and confess that El Father raised him from the dead, ascended and seated, the mediator between us and God, the man, the Lord Christ Jesus, Savior and the only righteous judge of humanity. God can judge humanity. He created it. And the Lord Jesus Christ, the only human man, can judge humanity because he died for it on the cross, took care of the sin issue. All right of the resurrection over through the faith of some. So your faith in got weak because these two men preached that you missed the resurrection or the resurrection took place already, and it hasn't. There has to be a rebellion, a falling away before the Lord can come back and the resurrection takes place. And we're real close to the rebellion, the falling away of those unrighteous ones that didn't love the truth got into man-centered, let no man deceive you, man-centered rituals and traditions and doctrines and got into Christianity instead of the Christ-anointed church that came out of the new sect, the way, whose headquarters was headquartered by 50 AD in Ephesus for the next 300 years. Verse 19, how are we doing on time? Seven minutes, we're doing good. 2.19 of Second Timothy, nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal. Born of the Spirit is the seal. Having this seal, the Lord knoweth them, the saint son believers, them, the believing saints, saint sons, women can be in the saint son calling stewardship. It's a placing in a stewardship. And the title of the stewardship is, is believing saint sons, the beloved saints. Okay, and the Lord knoweth them, the saint son believers, that are his, and let everyone that nameth or call on the name, the authority or the anointing or the power of Christ, which is anointed, Messiah Christ means anointed, apart from iniquity, let them depart or stand apart from iniquity. In a great house, what is the great house? Well, a little further down, it talks about wood and earthenware. So it's not a heavenly spiritual kingdom. It's wherever you can get wood and clay and earthenware. The great house is earth. Okay, and we must purge or cleanse ourselves so we can be vessels of honor used of the master. Okay? Pleasing to him. Vessels of honor. Down in the last line in verse 21. Unto every good, and King James says work, I white out work. The number one good doing is speaking truth with your neighbor. Love your neighbor as yourself and speak truth with your neighbor. Speak truth with every human being you meet. Every human being you meet is your neighbor. Speak truth with them. That's the number one good doing, is speaking truth at all times to all people. All right, verse 22. Flee also youthful lusts, but follow righteousness, faith in, charity or love, and peace with them that call upon the Lord out of a pure heart mind. And I'll stop there. Put them in remembrance, okay, of salvation in the Lord Jesus Christ and all things pertaining to the Lord Jesus Christ and the heavenly kingdom of God and part two of salvation, the resurrection. B period Eugene Bear on YouTube, uh, a little teaching about 
Put them in remembrance. Love you. Bye.